Yeah, so we were awarded about a million dollars from NSERC and some uh, industrial partners, including some water utilities out in Leamington. And the idea behind the project is to use a lot of these um, new instruments, real-time, continuously monitoring instruments, buoys that we put out in Lake Erie, and gliders that are going to move around the lake and collect data. And the idea is to try to understand, you know, what drives these harmful algal blooms. Um, you know, can we predict when they're going to happen and protect our water supply um, and make sure that we have good clean water to drink in Essex County. So we've been dealing with harmful algal blooms for about 50 or 60 years and so there's two problems. One is eutrophication and what that means is you have too many algae and they die and they go to the bottom and they, and they use up all the oxygen as they're being broken down so you get these dead zones. And then more recently, last 15 to 20 years, um, we can also have the harmful algal blooms start to produce a toxic chemical, microcystin and some other types of chemicals. And these are, are toxic to humans. And so if they get into our water supply, we can't drink the water. So back in 2013, uh, Toledo had, there was a big issue and Toledo had to have, a, there was a week where you couldn't drink the water in Toledo. So that's the other thing is we need to understand when that might happen. And if it does happen, be able to quickly warn the water utilities so that they can protect their water supply.